Welcome to my channel Cook with Jenny. Voy na kasiyam turhi chili chicken with gravy ani a all sam ta ba asiyam da ni lo enang. Voy na ka video hi sab trongin katido na chan tam tak te nan request sa wangin. A subtitles to Mizowin Karontiang. Let's check out the required ingredients for the chili chicken. I have taken 250 grams of boneless chicken for today's recipe. For today's chili chicken recipe, here I have taken 250 grams of Clinton washed chicken. To this we add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. I have some freshly ground black pepper powder. I'm using half a teaspoon here. One tablespoon of corn flour. I'll also be using half a tablespoon of maida. That is all-purpose flour. Both these ingredients help in the process of binding. Maida is optional. I'll also be adding egg whites here. I'll show you that later. One tablespoon of soya sauce. I like my chicken to be a little tangy. So for that I'll be using one tablespoon of tomato ketchup. This is again optional. I'll now add salt to taste. After adding the salt, we'll give it a good mix. Like I said, I'll be using the egg whites for the binding. Let me show you how I separate the yolk from the egg white. The egg. Take any clean empty bottle. Squeeze release and it's done take any clean empty bottle press the bottle and now you release it the yolk gets sucked in and it's done isn't it simple a very neat way to separate the yolk from the white. That was one simple tip I shared with you today. Now let's mix the egg white with the chicken mixture. We have to mix it very well so that all the ingredients blend in well with the chicken pieces. This is done now. We'll have to marinate this chicken for half an hour. Let's cover it and keep it aside for marination. Today I'll be making my chili chicken with gravy. So for that I need some chicken stock. Let me show you how I prepare my chicken stock. Here I've taken a few pieces of uh, chicken and it's a little fatty chicken so you can see the oil coming up on top. I've added crushed ginger. I have not added any other ingredients other than the crushed ginger. We'll boil it for 15 minutes or until it's cooked. My stock is ready. The chicken is cooked. Since we don't need these chicken pieces for my chili chicken recipe, I'll keep this meat aside and we can use it for chicken sandwiches. I'll show you how to prepare chicken sandwiches in my next video. The chicken stock is ready. Let's keep this aside and move on to the next method. Let's heat the pan for frying the chicken. 
I'm putting in the oil now. We have to uh, heat the soil on high flame and once we start putting in the chicken, we turn the flame to medium. The oil is heating. Let's check out our chicken. This has been sitting for the past half an hour. We'll give it a good mix and start frying it in the oil. Like I said, over low heat. Keep frying over low heat. We are frying this on low flame. If you don't cook it on low flame, the chicken will get burned from outside and will be uncooked from inside. The chicken is ready now. Let's take it out. Okay, so I'm done with the cooking of the marinated chicken and I'm removing it here on an absorbent paper so that the excess oil from the chicken comes out. Now let's check the rest of the ingredients we need. 10 cloves of garlic finely chopped, 4 medium sized onion diced, 1 capsicum diced, 3 green chili sliced, 3 tablespoons of coriander leaves, 3 tablespoons of corn flour, one and a half tablespoon of black pepper, one teaspoon tomato ketchup, half teaspoon sugar, salt to taste. Add the garlic and let it fry a little bit till the color changes. Add the diced onions. Give it a toss. Now we can add the green chilies. Capsicums Let's fry it for a minute I'm putting in some pepper powder now Half a teaspoon of sugar We'll give it a quick mix We don't want to overcook the veggies That is the capsicum and the onions They taste good when they're crunchy One teaspoon of tomato ketchup. Give it a mix. We are using 250 grams of chicken here. So these measurements are according to that. I have added one tablespoon of soya sauce. I'm giving it a quick mix again. We can start putting in the chicken stock now. I'll have to put in a little more chicken stock here. We're putting in two cups of chicken stock here. Let's put in the chicken pieces and prepare the cornstarch slurry now. Yes, this is done. To prepare the cornstarch slurry, I have added a little bit of water and I am mixing it well. We should blend it well till all the uh, what you call lumps dissolve. That's done and we can put it to our chicken gravy now. Mix it well. We are almost there. Just add a little bit of salt now. And a dash of vinegar. I've added about half a teaspoon of vinegar. We can garnish this with spring onions. But today since I don't have some spring onions, so I'm just going to add the long coriander leaves here. These also taste good. It's done. The chili chicken is ready now. If you like my recipe, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of my upcoming videos. And thank you all so 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 much for watching my channel. Take care. Take care.